Some of the functionality that once was within the GUI has now been moved to the web interface. For example, if you maintain master data on an info provider. It brings us to this browser saying it cannot access the site. And if we type in our IP address here instead of the host name of our SAP system, So we are currently connected to our SAP system, but nothing's able to be loaded. So in order to resolve this, we have to go to our hosts file within our Windows System 32. Navigate to your C drive, and then open up the Windows folder. Within the Windows folder, we'll look for our System32. Open that up, and then look for Drivers. Next, we'll go into the ETC folder. And then we have to modify this host file right here to include our IP address for our SAP server. So I'm gonna open this in Notepad. And if you cannot open the file, you need to make sure you're using administrative user and then you can right click and open as administrator or set up your local Windows account to be an administrator. So now that the file is open, make sure you comment out any other IP addresses that are currently live. And we're going to copy the exact same text that we put into our Ubuntu hosts file. So it should mirror the same server name. So I'll type in the IP address for my SAP server out in the cloud. And then the SAP server host name, VHCAL and PLCI, followed by space, VHCAL and PLCI dot dummy dot no domain. Save your file and close it. Okay, so now their host file has been updated. If we go back into SAP and try to right click and maintain an object, we see that a browser window is called and then it's warning us the site may not be secure. Click more information and then choose to go to the web page. Now we're going to be typing in our credentials so the web interface can actually talk to our SAP system. So log in with the same credentials that you normally use within the SAP GUI front end. Log on. And now you can use the SAP web interface that a lot of the stuff that's currently in the back end will now launch to.